Hey guys and girls, welcome back to another beautiful example video on this beautiful channel. Today we're gonna go and actually make a template class uh, which is uh, a template class of a dynamic array. So, or a dynamic array with a template class. I guess that's how you say it. I don't remember actually. But uh, I, I promised something last video and didn't deliver. We're gonna make dice our, our signature signature move here on this channel. We're gonna make a dice uh, dice class. Let's just do that first. So dice or class dice. Now this isn't going to be a template class. This is just something we are using for uh, to shove in our template class uh, public. There we go. We have to deliver dice, right? We need to make a dice game. And we might make some uh, some what do you call it? Some card games and stuff later. Who knows? Who knows? But this is a a a fun little thing we can do. We can make a integer value or and then max value. You know what? We'll just keep max value. I think that's better. And then public dice int value equals six. We'll make a default dice of six. And then we'll have dice. This shouldn't take this long. I'm sorry about this. And then uh, let's just say int throw Whoops. Uh, toss. Toss. Toss is better. And we'll just toss it once. Now you could have an integer in here say how many times you want to toss the die. But we'll just do this. And it will return the number for us. Uh, let's see. That should be it. And since this is such a small class, we'll just define everything in here. We don't really need to do anything in here, actually. Just do that. And this as well. All you need to do is this max value equals, uh, what do you call it, value. Now you're like, why do you need a class for this simple simple thing? But uh, it's nice, you know, it's, it's not that bad. It's cool to have a class, right? Always good to work with classes. Um, this, return, this. Now we need to make random, right? So include C time. And then we will have to define s rand static cast oops static cast unsigned zero. There we go. There we go. So we're good. Uh, this c time rand. Wait. Turn this. Return rand. This max value. I think that's it. I don't, I don't really remember how it was. Whoops. We have to do that. So it's from 0 to max value. So if it's 6, then it's going to be 0 to 5. So max value plus 1. I think that's how you do it. I think that's how you do it. Well, that should be it. I think I'm correct in 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 doing this. But anywho, let's just try it. Make a dice. Uh, whoopsie! A big letter. Big letter. Dice D1. Let's just say it's a six. That was a C out. Uh, C out. D1 dot toss. Let's toss this uh, like five times, or six times actually. We'll see what we get. Let's see, three, four, five, two, six, two. One more time. Three, four, five, two, six, two. Why is it going in below two? It needs to go below two. It needs to go below two, guys. Are we getting the same values every time? Three, four. Three, four, five. Okay. That's kind of weird. Uh, whoops. Time. Zero. Excuse me. Oh, wait. Time zero. There we go. That's what I want to do. Three, two, two, three, two. Okay, now we're getting ones. All right, we're good. Sorry about that. Just need to check that out. Let's just say that's fine. Now we need to get to work on our array. Now, we did make an array in our last... Should we just copy that? No, we won't copy anything. We'll we'll go ahead and make a template. Type name T. 
see. And what do we do? Wait, I just need to make sure I'm recording. Yes, I am. Okay, what we need to do is, like in the last video that I made, uh, we're going to use this type name C. So what you do is you make your class D array this time, or whatever you want to call it, anything you wish. It's a dynamic array this time. It's going to be a pointer pointer array that we've been working with. So remember we worked with this array right here? This is exactly what we're going to need. Uh, so I'm just going to go ahead and make that again. It was quite a bit of code, like you can see, but I'll 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 remake that so you can follow me. Uh, private, public. The difference is, difference is we're going to be using our generic type this time, so we can make it for ints, for doubles, for our dice class, for anything. We can store anything in here, and we just need to write one array. So what we're going to need is a unsigned or an integer, whatever you want. But I, I like this cap equals no. What am I doing? Uh, unsigned, unsigned number of elements and a t pointer pointer array. That's what we need. And uh, the array. Um, we'll just leave that because it's dynamic. Um, the array. And then we have void expand. We'll have a void initialize with an integer from from an un, unsigned from equals zero. We have a default value in there. Uh, expand and we need a void add as well. We haven't done remove yet, but we'll do remove one day. Not yet, um, since it's pain to do and I need to work a little bit more on that, refresh my memory. But still, initialize, expand, add, and we need to do a void get or size, size, and oh yeah, we needed to do the operator as well. If I remember how to do the operator, uh, I think it was, I'm just going to try this out now, don't worry. Uh, T, true, bam, no, whoops, bam, then const index. I'm just going to see if this was it. I'm just going to see if this was it. Uh, we'll see if that works. Anywho, this should be fine. Size, add, expand, initialize. Okay, so these are our functions. And remember the funny thing about this, that we didn't do it in a separate class or separate function. What am I saying? A separate file, excuse me, was because you just do it in one H file, right? And a header file, and I, I just like, whatever. We can just do it in the uh, in this file right here, just to find everything in one, one place. Uh, so remember, you had to do all kinds of weird stuff. Now, to do this the quickest, I learned, is you just take your type name T, and you add it above every function, like we have to. Like I said in the last video, this is just something you need to memorize. This isn't something that makes a lot of sense to me, or probably many other people, but you have to have this above every function that you're defining for this uh, this template class. And you have to go ahead and do this on every class as well. Whoops, sorry about that. Just like that, just like that. So you got a bunch of functions here. Now, what you need to do is you need to do D array, like that, remember that? But you need to shove your T in here just like I did in the previous video. So we need to do this here, because this is a template class. Again, just something you need to memorize and not uh, not really lose any sleep over. This is just something you have to do. Expected a something, excuse me very much, excuse me to the greatest of greatest extents. There we go, that's how you're supposed to do it. Noob, nooby dooby. Well, this is it, let's make these simple ones here. Return this number of elements and then we'll do if index. This is how you overload these these operators. This is so we can use these uh, brackets, the indexing operators for our class. So if index is less than zero or index is greater than this number of elements equal to will throw bad index. Else we will return this array 
And remember, but since it's a pointer pointer, we need to dereference it before we send it out. Array at position index. Remember that? Because we're pointing to a pointer. So if we just do this, we'll be returning the pointer, not what the pointer is actually pointing to, the actual value. So we want that value. So we have to dereference that. And to add as well. To add or not to add is the question. Let's see. Um, if this number of elements is greater or equal to this cap, we need to expand this expand. Else we'll just, or not else, but nevertheless, we'll add something to this. So this array at position, oh, we need an object in here. So we need a const t reference t object object. Let's just copy this into here. So we're going to add something in here. This number, just like we always do, equals object. Equals new t object. Since it's a pointer pointer, remember this pointer here at this position needs to be dynamically allocated a new generic type of this object uh, with a copy of this object, right? That we're sending in. So this is going to be great. This is great. We'll expand. Now to initialize, what we need to do is we need to do from to this number of elements. No, this cap equals. Now this, this helps us nullify all the other empty spaces. When we, when we expand our array, we don't expand it by one. We do a big new bunch of pieces that we add. And we just want to make sure they're null pointers. Because if you try to delete a null pointer, nothing is going to happen. But if you try to delete something that isn't a pointer that isn't a null pointer and doesn't have a value, this is going to crash. So what we just want to do is keep everything to null pointers. So this array at position i equals null pointer. So it's going to go from, and so we don't make everything else a null pointer that we already have. This is something we're going to use as we expand. So uh, it's, it's yeah, something that is good to have. So this cap equals, let's say we start at 5. This number of elements is 0, of course. Uh, this array equals a new t array, t pointer array <coughs> of this uh, cap. And then we'll just do this initialize. And since the default value from 0, we're going to go from 0 to 5 and initialize this array to null pointers, everything. And if we already had like two values here, it would start from number of, I'd send in number of elements in here. So it would go from 2 to 5 and nullify those. And not nullify our already existing valuable uh, uh, valuable data we're storing basically but yeah then we have just one more thing to add and that is expand so we'll make sure this cap equals or let's just multiply it by two this isn't really a good thing to do but I, I do it for these examples you can add it by five or something uh, just to not make the leap so big um, but you know what we'll just do that why, why am I even preaching something if I'm not doing it but yeah there you go and then what we're going to do is we're going to make a temp t temp array equals new pointer pointer temp array equals new t pointer with this cap with this new capacity here. And what we're going to do is we're going to copy everything over this number of elements this temp no temp array at position i equals a new uh, t of this array at position i. So we're just copying over everything. We're just copying over. And remember to dereference it since we just want the pointer's value. It's going to copy over everything. And then we're going to delete the old array with a for loop as well. This cap. And we're going to go ahead. This is, this is the reason. Because we're going to go through stuff that doesn't have any values yet maybe and that's gonna uh, or that could that could cause a problem in this case it won't because we n made null pointers of everything in initialize but this array at position i 
delete. So watch my previous videos if you don't really know what I'm doing in all of this. I explain this in detail because this is a dynamic array. You have to explain a bunch of stuff. I'm just trying to do this a little more quickly here. Delete and delete the complete array. Now set the old set the old array to temp array and then at the end just initialize from this number of elements. Now these are the steps that you need to follow. Try to understand all, all of this, what is happening here. And what you're gonna get is a nice new expanded array and we got a bunch of stuff going here. I hope everything works. We just need to make sure we, we can actually copy this over into here. Just like that. And we'll be fine. Now let's just go ahead and run this quickly. Okay, nothing's gonna happen because I haven't actually done anything yet. Uh, S array, no, D array. Let's start by making it of integers, okay? Integers. M, M I A, like we did in the last video, because it's cool. Let's say M I A dot add a bunch of tens, because I like the number 10. Let's add more than five. Let's go ahead and print. Whoops, I don't know what that is. Haha, -ha, don't ask me that. MIA dot size. Excuse me? Excuse me? Excuse me? What? What am I doing, guys? What am I doing? Why don't you say anything? There we go. I bet you've been wondering about that all video long. Okay, something broke. I uh, excuse me. Excuse me? Excuse me? Why does this break? This array at position. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Whoops. Whoops. There we go, because that cap is actually increased. We're going beyond bounds here. That's not good. So we got a bunch of stuff. It didn't break. We're good. And we'll just print this out. I should have done this at once. MIA dot position I. See, now we can use this operator here. The bracket stuff we added it because we're cool and it worked bam bam so we got this now we can use the same array that we created for our dice class we can make a bunch of dice in here or die in here mda whoa 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 not trying to advertise anything here don't ban me okay i'm just saying now we got mda now let's see uh mda dot add dice let's just make a bunch of dice uh, add a simple dice thingy. Who cares? We'll just add a bunch of d6s in here. We can add a d10, d20, d8, something like that. Something random, right? And we'll go ahead and do this and say mda.size, mda. Dot size, mda dot, uh, i. toss. Bam! That's how we do it. That's how we do it, guys and girls. Bam! We got a bunch of cool stuff going. We got a bunch of cool stuff going. Damn, 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 bam, bam. Now we got our dynamic array template class, mind you. We can use this for just about anything. You just made your own vector class here, almost. Uh, vector has a bunch more functions, and it has pushback and stuff like that. Our add is basically pushback. We don't have a popback yet. Or pop front, for example, remove objects and remove die and stuff like that, but that will come later. Anywho, you just made a cool, really cool dynamic array that you can use for any type of stuff. You can make a D array of strings here, you can do whatever you want. MSA, bro, you can do whatever you need. Alright? Now, enjoy this newfound knowledge, work on it, work hard, practice, and you'll be pro in no time. Okay, more pro than me. I'm not pro by any means, but you know what I mean. Thanks for watching. Take care. Have a great evening, great day, whatever. See you in the next video. All right, bye-bye.